All right, welcome back, fellas and girls, ladies and gentlemen, anyone. I fucked that up pretty quick. <laughs> All right, last take. All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and setting up, hopefully, jointing my first piece of uh, lumber that I got here. So, obviously, you can tell by behind me, I've been using the mill quite a bit lately. I've got, you know, one inch, two inch, some inch and a half. I got live edge, I got dimensional lumber. Uh, I wanna start doing some actual woodworking. I never thought I would actually be looking into, you know, getting a straight piece of lumber. <laughs> you know, inside stuff that I can be really proud of. Really, I wanna build a nice big uh, kitchen table and some other stuff in the house. So a jointer is necessary. I've never ever used one. I truthfully didn't even know what a jointer was up until like a few months ago. I mean, I understand what a planer does. It takes a, a, a surface and then cuts to that surface. Well, I think the, the, the jointer is what makes that original flat surface. So the, the jointer is gonna get one flat surface and one edge. And then from there, we should be able to plane the long edge, the long surface, the face, I guess, and then use the table saw and a flat fence and then cut the other side off and you should have four perfectly 90 degree pieces of wood. That's an idea. That's the idea I think with the planer. So I'm a completely beginner at this. Like I said, I've never used the jointer. So if you're just like me, stick around. We're gonna unbox this, set it up quick and hopefully run some lumber through it. Coming up. All right, so I picked this um, eight inch bench top jointer with Helical cutter head. <laughs> this is a Crafx uh, CX series, uh, busybeetools.com. This, I'm, from what I could tell, this is the same as the King. It's the same as like, there's like literally three or four different companies that uh, rebranded this exact same one. And the price, it's fairly similar, but it did vary a little bit. So I actually found this on Kijiji. Um, I bought it for $500 Canadian, obviously new in the box. Um, I think the guy said he had paid $6.99 for it. And then he ended up going with a bigger, more kind of like industrial unit. Um, you know, this, this, from what I understand, is a beginner's jointer, which is exactly what I need because I'm a beginner. Nothing wrong with that. Now, I do understand there'll be some assembly required. So I'll quickly put this together. I might not film the whole thing. We'll see here. The pictures in the instruction manual are so brutal. Essentially what it is, you can take everything out. You've got what they call the jointer, the sliding fence, and the fence bracket. So you take the fence bracket, on, installed already is our four nuts, or four bolts, and these are threaded. Remove the four bolts, take the uh, uh, slide up this side. It can only go on one way. Slide it on there, install your four bolts. All right, then take your fence, take your other, uh, your other piece, they call this the sliding fence bracket, and your kit should have came with two of these um, nuts and bolts. These are built just perfect size to slide into the fence. They only go one way as well, like one way, they're just a, ever so gently. Yeah, it only goes in one way, slide it in. I'm doing this on the fly, so. Forgive me if I'm looking like a fool. You got built-in Torx a uh, bit with you. And it says adjust the sliding fence bracket so that it is in the middle of the fence, B. Okay, I got it figured out. Pictures are not so bad, I guess, but basically, yeah. So I inserted this knob that was uh, with the washer down, caught the nut down here. And what that allows you to do is bring your, um, so what I did is I took that fence, there's a little hump on the bottom. That hump is so that this um, blade doesn't hit the fence, obviously. So you gotta make sure that's nice and flat. And then on top, make sure that the fence is on top of the deck, obviously, right? Because if you actually go this way, you can it, can, it can fall below. Like if you wanted to go, I guess, maximum cutting, but this deck, the fence is supposed to sit just on top of the deck there. So you want maximum, you know, eight inches. So you'd sit it there tighten this up and then what this knob does is let you raise the uh it's all plastic too i'm not a huge fan of this 
As I tightened it, the fence kind of straightened itself out. It looks pretty 90 to me. Okay, let's plug her in and see what we can do. Pretty long piece. Second. Definitely need a proper dust collection system. <laughs> All right, well that's it for this little video, guys. I was just hoping to set it up and try it. I ended up jointing, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boards. Um, so half of these are actually uh, um, ash and the other half are a pine. It looks so cool. But what I'm really, really, really noticing, um, if you got a sawmill, you probably already realize this. I'm just starting out, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. But I know all these boards, like I cut that ash with a really dull, soft wood blade. <laughs> I just wanted to get that log on and see what it looked like. And the cuts are brutal. And that makes this like a lot of work because you know, you're always trying to chase it down to the, the, the thinnest piece, right? So if it's really wavy and it gets really wonky on you, you're cutting you know, 15 passes just to get down to where you want it all smooth, right? So some of these boards, I literally just like gave up because I'm better off just cutting it off there because these are just so brutal, but they're good test boards for me to figure out what I'm doing. All the other um, big stuff I cut, I had brand new blades and it came out like glass right off the mill. So I know when I put it through, the, I probably only need three or four passes, flip it, three or four passes on the, uh, on the fence to get the edge and then I've got my two flat sides and I'll rip the these ones are probably just for the project they are I'll probably just put them through the table saw and just square up both corners so when we nail them into the uh, drywall it's uh it's just nice and uh uniform anyways I'll quit uh blabbering guys if you're into woodworking I guess milling uh we're, we're kind of working on building this little homestead up to be honest with you um got the chicken coop going all sorts of projects. So definitely subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.